Chicken tastes good, that's my opinion. Chicken tastes good. Chicken tastes good? Yeah, yeah, tastes good. Yeah. Where would you stand in the days of slavery? Would you be on the side of the slave owners? Yeah, against it, obviously, well, obviously. Well, wait a second, just ask where you are now with animal rights. Uh, why is it worse to kill a human? I want to know why it's worth it, worse if it's not brain capacity. Because we're human beings and we shouldn't kill other human beings. And law as well, of oh, course. No, 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 no. We're not going to talk about law because what's legal hasn't always been moral. Hey mate, how are you? I'm very well, Joey. I've, I've seen your like YouTube stuff, and I'm just quite interested. That's oh, all. Oh really? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Are you, so you're not a vegan yet? I'm not a vegan. No. Okay. No, I'm not a vegan, but I'm still interested. So, so like, what, what questions do you have? Um, well, I think it's quite like difficult just to try and change a lifestyle to, because I usually when I like go shop at Aldi or whatever, I'll load, I'll get loads of meat all the time and that. Um, like usually when I have like a meal, I would like have like a meat and like a side or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. just the way I, I'm, I just, I, I wouldn't know like, I'm, I'm happy to like try and like reduce how much meat I, I eat, but okay. I don't know, I'm just like, okay, yeah. yeah. I, so it's, uh, so I want to know first of all, do you think like what you see on the screens is okay? Stuff, you usually blur it out on your YouTube videos, don't you? So. Well, um, I'm just trying to show some stock standard stuff. There's a, yeah, there's a yeah. gas chamber in Ashton Online, okay. not too far away. Uh, yeah. This is uh, this gas, pigs being gassed. It's pretty common. Uh, the main way pigs are gassed in uh, England and Wales. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, first of all, like uh, yeah, the dairy industry. First of all, you have to agree that this is like morally wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, you never think about it, Joey. That's the thing. Like, yeah. if you just go to the shop and you just get your you get your food, you never really think about where it comes from and that. Yeah, I mean, but when you, and also you know that when you pay for that food, you're paying for this to happen to the animals, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, you don't usually think about that though, do you, Joey? No. It's not the first thing that comes to your mind no. when, you, when you go at the shop and you, you, you buy some chicken or beef, you don't think, oh, this is where it comes from and, it, and it's cruel or whatever. I mean, um, it was in the back of my mind, but when I used to make a chicken's like breast on a side of my plate, not all the time it wasn't in the back of my mind. Like sometimes when I seen like a bit of blood in a vein or something, yeah. it would remind me that that's from an animal. But um, well, so I was going to say, what about Christmas time especially? Because yeah. that's a bit more topical. So yeah. what 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 about Christmas? Because everyone's having turkey, beef, pork, or whatever. Well, who do you eat at Christmas? Turkeys or cows? Um, we are, we have a bit of pork actually. We have belly pork at our house. Okay, that's what we have. Okay, um, um, and a bit of beef as well. We don't really like turkey too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love turkeys, yeah. but I don't want to eat them. No, no, that's fair <laughs> enough. That's fair enough. But um, yeah, Christmas time. Like I've been doing a bit of campaigning for Christmas. Um, yeah. Okay. We've got that little scan, you scan a QR code and you can uh, get a little download pack and it just gives you a little supermarket guide and things like that. Yeah, yeah, good idea. I also got these as a little guide too. And, and in G January, there's something called Veganuary happening. Okay. So it's like, a, it's like a yearly campaign in January where everyone sort of goes vegan for January. Okay, okay. So like, when you, when you commit to something for 30 days, it, you build new habits, you might find out about new foods and you... So yeah. when you became vegan, Joey, was it like instant? Did you like just switch your diet completely? So what happened with me is I felt like a hypocrite. Okay. Like, so, I don't know, are you against animal cruelty? Uh, yes, yes yeah. I would be, yeah. Yeah, so I think that what happens to animals in animal agriculture is cruel. It's always cruel. Yeah. When you shoot an animal in the head, if they had a happy life, I think that's cruel. Chopping animals up into pieces, I think, is cruel. So, so do you believe there's a way in which you could, like, kill an animal without with reducing as much pain as possible, and could that be seen as more humane? Oh, well, I think there's worse ways to kill a person. I think yeah. there's more humane ways to kill a person, generally. But to kill you is the inhumane part. Well... Of course, but killing people as compared to killing animals is completely different, do you not think? I don't think it's completely different. I think it might be a little bit worse to kill a person who has a more... A lot worse. A lot worse, no? Well, well it depends on which person. Well, like, what, what type of experience do they have? Um, are they a good person or a bad person? 
Um, are they a small child who will grow up into an adult? Are they, um, like, what type of person are we talking about? I, I, I would justify killing anyone, personally. Why not? Because that's a terrible thing to do. What about self-defence? I, I wouldn't kill someone in self-defence. What if you had to? They were going to kill your family. You would... If you were to kill my family, I would have to... Could I not take a different route, like, ring the police or whatever? Oh, well, what if the only option is either you kill me or I kill your family? I don't believe that's... In a hypothetical situation. In a hypothetical... I'm just... Well, it's a completely hypothetical situation, but I... I, I don't really see how that situation... Okay, because I... Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm given that situation because I, I would kill a human in that hypothetical. I would... I would yeah, of course I would. Oh, okay. If they were going, to, if a human being was going to blow up a stadium full of a hundred thousand people, and I had a sniper rifle, and I could kill him to save the, of course I'm going to kill the human. I don't think I'd be in a situation to have a sniper rifle or think I would want to kill anyone. No, but I'm just talking about hypotheticals to get an ethical position. Yeah. It's just, it's just a part of philosophy. It's just, I mean, no, I, I mean, I, okay. I'm saying that animals are Perfect. animals are innocent, right? Yep, yep. But in self-defense, I would kill. Okay. There are situations where I would kill. Okay. 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 I'm not a complete pacifist. Yeah, no, no. Because I think okay. it would be immoral not to kill in some situations. Okay. It would actually be an act of immorality. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not to kill someone in certain situations. Understood. But like with 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 animals, all right. You know, what? you might not hold them as on a higher plane as human beings. You might think that a human being, they have a you know more deeper experience. They can understand deeper possibilities of what can happen yeah. to them. They might suffer on a deeper level, maybe. But also, Joey. Uh, in, in, in your favour here, humans as a responsibility, and we we control and look after animals. We, we we we've got a responsibility, I would say, in a way. No. Yeah. Well, I think we've got a responsibility to protect them. Yeah. But uh, yeah. um, like, you could take a human being who has the mental capacity of a cow. Yeah. Okay, which they do exist. Okay. And bless them, they're they're being they're being looked after in special facilities. Yeah. Okay. We protect their rights and we look after them. Yeah. Yes. Now, you might think that they, they, they might not have as, they might have the similar experience to a cow in their life. Okay. That, okay. Just, you don't think that's possible? I, I, I think that's a bit far-fetched though if we're saying a human with not the... I'm setting it up for you here. But a, a, a human without the brain capacity or whatever, therefore we're just judging a human based on brain capacity. That's what the value is based on, is purely capacity. That would be... Un- why is it worse to kill a human? I want to know why it's worth it, worse if it's not brain capacity. Because we're human beings and we shouldn't kill other human beings. And law as well, of oh, course. No, 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 no. We're not going to talk about law because what's okay. legal hasn't always been moral. Okay. Slavery was legal, that was immoral. So you don't bring... Law, law and morality are two different well, of topics. Course, of course, law develops over so, time. Is yeah, we should, have laws protecting an, we should have laws protecting animals from being slaughtered, I think. Okay, but like, I understood that, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, like, the images you're showing me, this looks cruel. This doesn't look... Like a, I know we've, we've talked about the word humane to describe it in the situation because you're, you're saying well, it's inhumane to kill anything, isn't it? Is I, I think it's inhumane to take someone's life when it's needless, for sure. Yes. I think you're robbing them of their life. I think that's not humane. It's against what humane means, which is to show compassion. Okay. Um, sorry, I didn't, I didn't humane know. means to show compassion, kindness, benevolence. Okay. So, can we not, if if we were to kill an animal, is a way of reducing or we can talk about that. Can I? Can we yeah. just first, because we didn't get off the topic of like, yes, I want to know what this human trait that you've given me, yes. because they're human. Yes. That's yes. why we shouldn't kill them. Yes. But isn't there something about a human like that they feel pain, they suffer, they want to live, they have moral value because they experience the world subjectively, um, they have wants and desires, yeah. a, a want of a future. Like, aren't these things more important than just? They are this species. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd completely agree, Drew. But again, going back to the point of, as people, we experience a lot more. It's kind of we. So, so, okay, so, so, so there we are. There we are. So, because I could take a, a human being and a, a sentient being, they are almost alike in every single way, except for they're not human. They're from another planet. Okay. Is it okay to kill them on mass for burgers? To, to kill another... But again, this is a very hypothetical situation. I'm trying to find out your moral position, whether it's just human that's a trait, or if we take... A, if we get a person like a person that's not actually a human being, but they're some type of uh, alien, okay? Um, no, no, I'm stick with... the follow with the imagination. St- stick with me. Okay. They look the same as you, but they're an alien. They don't have the same DNA, so they're not a human. Okay. But they experience the same as you do. Okay. On par. Okay. Is it okay to kill them? I, I wouldn't want to kill them, though. Okay. Why? 
Um, because like you said, this species that we're talking about is sentient and they're very similar to us. Okay. So it's not, it's not the trait human, it's not that they're the same DNA as us, that's why we shouldn't kill them. It's other things, it's their sentience, they experience life like us, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. So now we now we go to cows. Okay. Okay. They are sentient. Do yep. you disagree? No, cows are sentient. Yep. Okay. They experience life. They suffer. They they love their children. They don't want their calves to be taken from them. Yeah. They yeah. They, you're against animal cruelty for for a reason. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they might not be on the same. A chicken might not be on the same level as you. Yep. So I might say, okay, in a hypothetical, I have to kill the chicken or you. I'm gonna probably save you. Yes, if you're a good guy. I would hope so. If you're not Hitler, I'm saving you. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I you seem like a nice guy. Yeah, of Thank course. You, Joey. And yes. even though I love chickens, yes. and I'd hope that you maybe if I saved you, you'd stop eating chickens and stop causing suffering. Okay. Maybe that would be a caveat. Okay. But I would save you over the chicken. I think that it would be more of an injustice maybe to kill you than I, the chicken. I would hope so, Joey. Okay. That, okay. that would be nice of that you. That doesn't mean I should kill the chicken for my taste buds. Okay. It, because the chicken still has experience. Okay. They are still sentient. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> The, the, the thing is, Joey, but like, in my opinion, with like things like birds or whatever, I wouldn't think their value of life or their importance is near, nearly near as significant as you or I. I never, I'm not saying that. I actually agree with you there. Okay. But what I am saying is that they are worth more than my taste buds or a five-minute meal that I've digested and flushed down the morning. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. understand, but we, we can also expand this to the point of like saying how important like meat is to like like certain industries and the economy right now and okay. got, like if, if if everyone were to stop eating meat, for example. Um, there'll be a lot of job losses and things. I understand. Yeah, we can yeah. talk about that. Yeah, but sorry, I want to know if a chicken is worth more, like a chicken's life, yeah. is yeah. worth more than a five-minute meal for you that you can eat plants. Um, because you know they have to get, they have to live in factory farms. Most of most of the chickens here are factory farmed. Yeah, ninety-five percent. Yeah, I'm I'm not too deeply concerned for me on a moral level. That, but, but however, if I could go to eat more plant-based things and yeah. stuff when that's an option in that case yeah it, 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 it would be better to do that so I what think. should i do try I don't to think it's completely terrible though yeah. joey which well, well i do th i personally do think because like, if i took a bird right now and snapped their neck and ate them in front of you you'd probably say what did you do that for you could have just went and got a sandwich well that would be bizarre behavior joey yeah. why because i don't often see many people snapping yeah. birds necks in public and so what you but what you're essentially doing when you go to buy a chicken sandwich you're paying someone to snap the bird's neck yeah, but like as behind I, closed doors as i told you this before when i when i go to the shop like aldi or whatever and i get meat or whatever you don't really think about that do you yeah. but this is why so we're, what we're trying to get to the bottom of is yes. we're trying to get to the bottom of the morality yes. of paying someone to cut chickens heads off raise them in farms yeah. you know uh, this is what we're trying to get to the point where you go it's an immoral thing to do, basically, yeah. because you feel like they are experiencing. The, the thing is, Joey, I've, I've watched loads of your videos yeah. before, and when you have like these debates with people, and then you, you, you take them down this path, and I go, you know what, I actually agree with what yeah. Joey's saying here. But it gets to the point where I go, oh yeah, I've watched your video, yeah. Joey's made a good point here, but am I actually going to do much for myself and go, well, next time I go to Aldi, oh well, the chicken's yeah. really cheap for one ninety nine. I can go make fajitas or whatever tonight. And then I'd, I'd do it anyway. Okay. So it needs to get to a point because I understand it's that convenience for you. It's convenience. It's, and it's cheap as well. You said it price it as well. Yeah, it's, it's a price and yeah. convenience. Yes. And then you also said um, we should keep animal agriculture in existence because of economy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we can we can do those three things. Yeah. 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 So if it was more convenient for me to get a tortured dog body. We have to talk about hypotheticals when you're having philosophical discussions yes, because I'm trying to help you. Put, I'm trying to put it in a different context so it makes more sense. Oh, sure. So let's just say um, I could go right there. It's five meters away. Yep. And the boiling dogs in the back there alive, and it's really cruel, and you can hear them yelping. Okay. And next door to it, it's a bit longer. Let's just say it's uh, 10, 10 more meters. Ten. Let's just say it's five kilometers. Okay. So it's even more inconvenient. Okay. I can walk straight in there, pay for them to boil the dogs. Okay. It's convenient. Okay. Or I can drive five kilometers to get plant-based stuff. Yes. What do I do? You, you'd get the plant-based stuff okay. tree. But I, and it, what was the other thing? Um, I, I, okay. The dog cost two pounds. Oh, okay. Plant-based stuff, let's just say it was more, it was five pounds. Yes. And I'm either going to go out and have an extra beer tonight or yes. I'm going to pay for the plant-based stuff. What do I do? You'd, you'd go for the plant-based stuff, true. Okay. But the point is, but even on a on a level, on a on a practical level, yep. plant plant-based foods are cheaper than 
meats. Okay. Okay. Maybe the meat replacements aren't as ex aren't as the cheap as the meats, but like if you go into get your beans and your lentils and your rice and your pasta and your vegetables and your fruits, they they, they cost less. And I'm yeah. I'm all for this idea of healthier eating as well, stepping aside from the morality yeah. as well. But I, I that's why I said I would quite like to. Re reduce the amount of meat I eat yeah. as well because I think like we said before it's quite hard to just change that yeah. so I'm very open to what you said also back to the the, the, the point of the, the the dogs in this uh, in this country and that, that culture yeah. especially European culture yeah. we wouldn't do that would we no. we would eat dogs yeah but I, I don't want to know if we do it if it's cultural acceptable things like this yeah. tradition I want to know if it's moral yeah. if it's an ethical thing to do because yeah. we're trying to talk about ethics we're not talking about some, some things that are cultural weren't ethical well, I would say like a, like a, a Going back to the chicken as well, I'd say like a dog is different to a chicken. Yeah, but the things um, that they have in common are well, what matters. Dog, yeah, yeah, but the, like we we're talking about intelligence before and capacity, a dog would be more intelligent than a chicken. A dog can have a possibly. Better. I mean, chickens well, do display amazing traits of intelligence. If you've seen some of the science on chickens, oh, I haven't seen some of the science yeah. on chickens, but I, I would say especially uh, humans have a better affiliation with obviously dogs. Oh, you're and eating things. pork at uh, you're eating pork at Christmas. Yeah. Do you want to sit down or shall I stand up? Because uh, if you're, yeah, because if you're eating um, pigs at Christmas, they're they're yeah. scientifically more intelligent than dogs. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a good point. So why are you eating a, a pig if you because think they're more intelligent going, than a dog? Going back to the, it, it's more culturally acceptable. I wouldn't eat a dog. I've been, okay. I, I, I think no, it would but, be. But you said intelligence matters. I think it does. So you're using that in the the argument against the chicken. You said a dog's more intelligent than a bird, so that's why we yeah. shouldn't eat the yeah. dog. Yeah. And I asked you why you're eating pigs because they're more intelligent than dogs. Yes. And then you went back to culture. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, I, I, I feel I, like you're, you're going from one. To another, I, I, okay, we can go culture I, now. I understand completely what you mean Drew, because, like, cult with culture, right? Okay, when you think about culture, yep, female genital, genital mutilation is cultural. Oh, okay. okay, there are many things in cultures that are immoral, right? Okay. Like, so slavery is cultural, it's part of culture, you know. I, I, I think this is a racism is cultural. I think this is a far fetched difference to what I was trying to say. Yeah, so just because something's cultural yes, doesn't but, mean that it's moral but, or immoral. It can be it can be either moral, yes, cultures can be moral or immoral. Af looking after a dog is completely different to the concept of slavery or something. No, no, no. I'm not saying they're the same thing. I'm saying that culture yes, doesn't okay. determine what's moral or immoral. No, no, it, it, it doesn't. And so we're we talking about to, culture. We're not we, talking about slavery or yeah. this and that. We're talking oh, about... We have to use our own brains as well yeah. to understand... So, so I'm not talking about racism either. I'm just saying that racism yeah. is cultural. Okay. All these things fall under the banner of cultural. Yeah, quite widely, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah so like, just because you go, oh, well, it's not cultural to eat dogs. Well, I, I want to know if it's moral, if it's ethical, if racism's ethical, if um, slavery's ethical, if killing dogs is ethical that's what we're trying to talk about we're yeah but but again i am conditioned in the way i am because yeah. because of culture i have brought i've lived in a family that eat meat yeah. i've lived in a country where you can go to the supermarket and it's convenient to do it yeah and that's that's the way i've been brought up and that's the way you were brought up as well before you become vegan before right? i changed and realized that culture shouldn't determine morality and i should maybe act in alignment with morality and not what everyone else is doing and what's yeah. tradition and what's cultural. Yeah. Just because you were brought up doing something horrible, you know, I was also in gangs from 14 onwards and we were, I was involved in gangs and we were beating each other up, throwing bottles at each other's heads and there were shootings and stabbings. Now I was brought up in that culture, okay? okay? Now I also snapped out of it, got yeah. sober and stopped doing those things. But, but imagine if I said to you, well, you know, stabbing people's cultural where I'm from, um, dealing drugs is cultural, you know, you would say, well, no, that's then, not ethical. But then we go back to the morality bit again, because yeah. I think the morality in terms of shooting or getting in gangs of people is significantly worse than eating a dead animal. Okay, well, I'll tell you right now that animal agriculture is worse than any human holocaust that's ever existed, okay. just by numbers. Now, I'm not saying on an individual basis, like okay. a human will suffer more than, okay. say, a, a cow. I don't know how you quantify that. Yes. But when you talk about numbers yes. alone, okay. more animals are butchered and killed in four weeks than human beings have ever existed. Okay. So you're talking about 74 billion land animals a year and one to three trillion marine animals every year yeah. now being being tortured I, I in many cases. That was the case, yeah. Most cases they are tortured. Yeah. So the birds, the, the, the chickens and the fish, in most cases they suffer. Well, that's the thing that I would really stand against, Troy. It's how would we do... We're talk, again, we're talking about how humane something would be. Can we do that in a way in which it would reduce the likes of torture or pain for an animal? Well, when you talk about mass farming for human consumption, you can't do it without factory farming. There's not enough space. You have yeah. to intensively farm these animals. Yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. always suffering. Yeah. And, yeah. like, let's just say you wanted to instead not factory farm meat, you wanted to hunt. 
okay. and they didn't live in a factory farm, you wanted to just shoot animals. When you get to that point, I still say that it's needless. Why, why are you trying to find right ways to do the wrong thing when you can just be vegan? I understand I, that. I understand in the UK, that. I've, been vegan, like, I've been vegan seven years. It's not hard to be vegan, you know? Okay, but in, in, an, in another point of view, Drew, we... In, <laughs> Sorry. Taking some info? I'm not a vegan, I'm no. a pescatarian. I took my phone out to take a photograph. This eagle turned around, literally turned around. And you might think I'm a bit crazy, 